The 2023 GMC Yukon is a big SUV with flagship-grade tech, especially in Tony and expensive Denali guys. What kind of vehicle is the 2023 GMC Yukon? The 2023 GMC Yukon is a full-size SUV available in standard and long Yukon XL trim, with a lineup that includes the AT4 off-road model and the Denali Luxury Edition. The Yukon competes with the Ford Expedition and Lincoln Navigator, as well as its branded siblings such as the Chevrolet Tahoe slash Suburban and the Cadillac Escalade. A solid choice overall, the 2023 GMC Yukon offers impressive handling, towing capacity and comfort, all in a luxury package. It's a 6.5 on the TCC scale, at least until we know more about its crash test record. What's new for the 2023 GMC Yukon? The new Denali Ultimate trim level pushes the Yukon's top model even closer to Escalade levels with its cabin, additional seat adjustments and hands-free Super Cruise Driver Assistance technology. The Yukon comes in two basic flavors, Big and Bigger, also known as Yukon XL. All were roughly the same lines, including a blocky, tall grille surrounded by C-shaped headlights with plenty of LEDs. From the side, they're more conservative than their GMC and Chevy siblings, something we don't mind. They're even better inside, especially in Denali trim, which has its own dash design. All have a 10.2-inch infotainment system that can run a full, desktop-style version of Google Maps. Less high-tech are the engine options, though they're plenty smooth. Look for a 355-horsepower 5.3-liter V8 in most versions, though a 420-horsepower 6.2-liter V8 and a torque-heavy 3.0-liter turbo diesel six-cylinder are optional. All versions use a 10-speed automatic transmission and most offer a choice between rear or four-wheel drive. A fully independent suspension delivers a plush ride, even in woodsy at four guys. That model offers impressive off-road chops, so long as you can find a trail wide enough. The diesel version provides the best fuel economy at 22 to 23 combined, but V8s check in around 16 miles per gallon combined. There is currently no Yukon hybrid. It may not be frugal, but the Yukon is certainly comfortable. Its cabin serves up impressive space for as many as nine adults, though most models leave the Texas factory with room for seven or eight. XL versions have massive second row legroom and even their third rows can accommodate adults, while the cargo area swallows plenty of luggage. Just measure your garage first, the Yukon XL is nearly 19 feet long. Automatic emergency braking comes standard, while a wide array of driver assistance tech is on the options list. Disconcertingly, the Yukon range earns a somewhat unusual four stars from the NHTSA for its crashworthiness. How much does the 2023 GMC Yukon cost? The GMC Yukon starts at around $60,000 and goes up quickly from there. While the best technology comes in the Denali trim for more than $75,000, most buyers will find the $66,000 or Yukon SLT to strike a good balance. 2023 GMC Yukon Styling While it's not the most luxurious, the Yukon wears strong, solid lines and offers a lot of contrast between its trim levels. It is beautiful inside and out, especially when dressed in Denali. The 2023 GMC Yukon comes in two main models, the standard length and extended Yukon, which adds 15 inches behind the front doors. Despite their height, these SUVs have a simple two-box design with a long, long grille that flanks the C-shaped headlights. The roofline dips slightly as it moves towards the integrated spoiler above the tailgate. Unlike some other GM SUVs, the Yukon sticks to the rounded edges rather than the rounded sides. All models except the outgoing at 4 are chrome-free although the Denali's dips its toe into the shiny end of the pool more than the others. Inside, it's a Yukon story of two. The SLE, SLT and at four trims have a simple look and a high-resolution 10.2-inch touchscreen. The Denali's interior sounds fun, and its dash channels more luxury sedan than utility truck. It's worth a look, especially if you've added a bunch of options to the SLT. 2023 GMC Yukon Comfort and Quality the 2023 GMC Yukon is available in two configurations, seating up to nine passengers. Most models will use front bucket seats and a second row second row or captain's seat with a narrow pass and a third seat for three. With its incredible interior space for people and their gear, the Yukon gets a 9 out of 10. Denali trims can add a 10 thanks to their updated materials. The front seats are comfortable for all day trips, and the GMC offers heating, air conditioning, and even a massage function. This year's new Denali Ultimate also offers other tweaks. Only the high exhaust obstructs forward visibility. 
The second row offers up to 42 inches of legroom in the Yukon XL, which is accessed through wide doors, regardless of the model. The third row can be tricky for adults to get to, but they'll find plenty of opportunities right there. Load capacity, the Yukon can carry 26 cubic meters of gear behind the third row, which expands to 123 cubic meters behind the first row. The Yukon XL offers more than 41 cubic feet of space behind the third row and a whopping 145 cubic feet of total cargo capacity. All trims have nice interior trim, but the Denali's is the top trim with its own dash and nice matte wood trim. 2023 GMC Yukon Safety The NHTSA says the 2023 Yukon is a four-star overall vehicle, a relatively rare score that gives us some pause. The IIHS hasn't tested it yet. The GMC Yukon comes with automatic emergency braking and offers active lane control, blind spot monitors, and a host of cameras for low-speed driving and towing. Those standard and available features add two points, with one deducted for the crash test score. It's a 6. 2023 GMC Yukon features Starting at $59,295 for the rear-wheel drive SUV, the Yukon SLE comes with folding seats, a 10.2-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, and 18-inch alloy wheels. Add about $3,000 for four-wheel drive and or long XL bodies. Which GMC Yukon should I buy? Our money would be on the SLT, which for $65,995 throws in heated and cooled leather seats up front, large 20-inch alloy wheels, a Bose sound system and a wireless charger. We think it's worth buying more than $72,600 at 4, although it's hard to resist this model's standard all-wheel drive and strong styling. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.